Transurfer and the Transurfing Curious. My name is Renee Garcia and this is Transurfing TV. And today, one of my um, sort of <laughs> nihilistic approaches to reality, which I've actually really, really grown to love because nihilism for me sort of just means like nothing really matters. <laughs> nothing really matters. And in believing and really resonating with this idea that nothing really matters, life becomes like a video game. It's fun. It doesn't seem so loaded up with emotion and, um, you know, like the stakes are high and it's all or nothing or all this stuff that kind of winds us real tight, right? I mean, God, if, if, if I could show you exactly who I was pre-transferring, I was so tightly wound, I was so tense, I was taking everything so seriously, and any time I had any kind of setback or something that seemingly was against an intention of mine, I would like fall apart and it was just really a hellish place to live in and I lived here for a super long time and then I started getting really into nihilistic philosophy and in a way transurfing mirrors a lot of the a lot of the ideas behind pessimistic philosophy. I'm a positive thinker, but at the same time I I don't attribute much value to anything, right? And I approach everything as if it's a game and if it falls apart, then it's a positive <laughs> because then it frees me up to go and do something else. And I just sort of bounce around from the different things that I do with this approach. And it's very much helping me to not only maintain energy levels, because a lot of energy, and I'll get into my two little versions of me here in a moment, but this version of me, it's all or nothing, all my eggs in one basket, everything's so serious, you know, high emotions, the stakes are high, all that kind of stuff. This is very, very energetically ineffective. It's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm just like, oh, you know, and I'm losing so much energy through that like, I gotta push this through, I gotta make this happen, I gotta make this happen. And in doing that, it's like, it's all lost. <laughs> like, it doesn't happen because of course, when you attribute too much importance to something, have excess potential, balancing forces come in, they either make it way more difficult for you to achieve the goal or they just wipe the situation out entirely. And then also the energetic loss makes it to where you know, in the past, I simply could not sustain the steps towards the goal in this mode because I was depleted energetically and I had, I had, I had nothing to run on. This version of me, I have so much to run on. And again, life's like a game. Everything I do is a game and it's fun. And it's kind of like, I trust my reality, right? My world's taking care of me. Everything's going according to plan and things are working out beautifully and will continue to do so with ease. And if something happens against my intention, so be it. I'm okay with that. I just kind of move through it, blast through that part, and it seems to be working. So I'm going to get into all of this in a moment. Before I get started, join us on Facebook, the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. It is lit, y'all. Instagram, reality underscore transurfing. If you'd like to, if you'd like to dive in and learn everything there is to know about reality transurfing, teachable reality 2.0 course down below. Check it out. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and all that jazz. So, okay, I titled this video, What's the Worst That Can Happen? Because I actually say this a ton to my boyfriend. Like if I'm leaving the house, he's like, be careful. I'm like, what's the worst that can happen? I die? Is that the worst that can happen? Well, it's not that bad. So I know this sounds very dark, right? But when I started to think, and this may not be for everyone, 
but I really do live every single day like it's my last day that I'm gonna die tomorrow, right? It's not that I play that slide of me dying, I definitely don't do that, but I just kind of assume that the worst could happen. The worst could happen. I could step outside and get hit by a truck tomorrow, today, you know? The worst could happen. But when I, when I approach my reality from this position, I really have noticed my level of fear has just completely diminished because I've already, as Vadim Zeeland says, played the negative slide of defeat. And I know the negative slide of defeat, the negative slide, is very controversial because here we are in a modality that parallels law of attraction, you know, this, this reality creation modality where positive thoughts create a reality and we want to envision and, and visualize positive things. And if we visualize negative things, then negative things are going to happen. And if we visualize positive things, then we're on the right track and positive things are going to happen. So here's the thing. I don't live running a slide that I'm going to die or it's all going to fall apart. I live my life playing my positive slides. But I remember that, you know, again, nihilistic approach to, to reality, my, my nihilistic philosophy of life that nothing matters, that nothing has meaning except for the meaning that I assign to it, right? That, that if, if, if I want something and it's for me and it has meaning to me, then, then that is the value that I've assigned to that thing, whatever it is that I want. And outside of that, the world really doesn't care right? The, re the world really doesn't care about what I want. Again, I could step outside tomorrow and get hit by a truck, right? The world is going to do what it's going to do and I can affect my reality with doing the different things that I practice to gain meta power and again visualize and all that stuff. But again, my reality, even though it's a mirror and it's presenting me back you know, exactly what matches my attitudes and beliefs. There are also, there are also things that are out of my control. And when I release myself to this stuff and I don't get again, tightly wound that uh, I got to make this happen or is it going to happen? Or, you know, what, what, what if something breaks or what if something bad, you know, and, and I release myself to this. This is when I can move about in my reality in a very liberated way, right? That I play my negative slide of defeat and anything that happens, you know what, it's okay because I believe in this. I'm not attracting balancing forces because I'm essentially saying nothing matters. Nothing has meaning except for the meaning that I assign to it. In the grand cosmic thing of the scheme of things, nothing actually matters. And in this balancing forces, excess potential, importance levels, all very, very low and non-existent, and it allows me to approach my reality in a very, very playful mode, right? This is really what it's about is it's about, you know, it's like when you're a kid. Well, some of us had, you know, traumatic childhoods and we kind of did think about bad shit that was going to happen, right? But more or less, the nature of a child is carefree because they don't know of all the dangers. So this is essentially what you're tapping into when, this is what I tap into, when I make certain that I'm existing in this happy, low importance level version of me, the one that runs my negative slide, rather than this version of me. So what are these versions? Uh, okay, so let me, I'll go this one first. This was me six years ago. <laughs> Tons of excess potential, um, high emotions, right? Everything was emotionally loaded. My profession was loaded up with emotions. If I didn't achieve a certain standard of success, I was devastated. If um, my romantic partner at the time didn't do what I wanted, I was devastated. Everything was very high stakes, 
Um, I don't think I put high stakes in here, but this has to do with high emotions, right? Like if I lose, if I don't get this thing, I'm going to be devastated. I'm going to be wrecked. So I was in always in a high emotional state. All my eggs were in one basket. I had one thing I did for money. I had, you know, a relationship for a number of years that I was like, this is it. This is the relationship. This has got to work. I got to make this work. Right. And, and of course, balancing forces, love situations like that. <laughs> so I had all my eggs in one basket. My emotions were high. I had this all or nothing mentality, um, excess potential city and, and my level of seriousness. And a lot of times people would ask me like, is anything wrong? <laughs> What is everything okay? Are you okay, Renee? Well, what, what's happened? And I'd be like, nothing's happened. They're like, oh, that look on your face. So I was in like permanent, you know, bitch mode, seriousness, importance levels, through the roof, all that stuff. And again, this is when, this is when I, this is how I created an environment where I was constantly struggling, where my worst fears were coming true, where things were always an uphill battle, right? Always an uphill battle. So, so it, it was in, first off, my acceptance and my acknowledgement that this was the this was the way I was approaching my reality and that's why nihilistic philosophy and lots of points of reality transurfing really helped me so this was and I'll, I'll uh, reference a video here that I did a number of months ago called zooming out Right. This is zooming out of your life, zooming out of yourself, zooming out of the equation and really looking at it from a distant perspective and, 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 and seeing with your own eyes that it's going to go away. You know, it's not it's just a brief moment in time, whatever's causing you any sort of emotional um, tumult right now or a challenge you know it's 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 this idea that this too shall pass it's all fleeting it's all momentary every single person on this planet right now in just over a hundred years is gonna be dead right all the things that we are taking so serious right now are all going to evolve and change Everything is, everything's fleeting, everything's passing, and applying in, too much of anything to anything going on external is like a fool's journey, really. That's the way that I look at it. But I had to adopt, I had to adopt some parts of, you know, again, nihilistic philosophy and transurfing, playing that negative side of defeat, you know, no importance. This is a really big one and really bring myself back down to a lower level of, of, you know, just realizing that this, this is, this life is what it is. Cha everyone has challenges. There are all sorts of things that are going to play out externally from, you know, the time you're a child until, until you die and really just approaching life from this, like, just throwing it all to the wind. Let it, it'll all be fine, right? It will all be fine. So this version of me now, the version of me that has very low emotional charge, crazy things happen to me now like crazy things with all being a public figure and you know I've had all sorts of wild events play out in the last couple years and sometimes people around me some of my team they're amazed they're like how can you not care that this thing just happened and I'm like who cares 
who cares in the grand scheme of it all, none of it really matters, right? So low emotional charge, no importance. Um, I play my negative slide of defeat. I'll get to that in a moment. Making sure that, that my mind and my actions and everything that I'm doing is balanced and I'm not loading something up so much so that it's becoming my everything, right? I'm, I'm tending to the garden that is my reality and I'm watering everything equally and I'm just kind of watching it grow and I'm not getting obsessed with needing to see a result in any specific direction and it's in this and it's in this sort of mindset that more comes to me and it's amazing it's like the, the the tighter you pull the rubber band the less results you see the more you let go the more results you see I view reality as fun even the even the negative shit something crazy will happen I mean I'm really tuned out of politics in the media right now but I'll hear of like, you know, all obviously all the crazy shit that's happening. And I'm like, this, that's fun. <laughs> I know a lot of people be like, no, it's not fun, Renee. It's super, super serious. And you need to think it's serious too. What's that going to get me? What's that going to get me? It's all fun. It's all interesting. It's all a show. Life wouldn't be interesting and fun if we didn't have the crazy stuff or the, the, the negative stuff, right? It's all interesting, it's all fun, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach it like it's a game, and this seems to be working for me. The backup, the backup is huge. So again, this version of me, eggs in one basket, all or nothing, excess potential, for me now, again, I said at the beginning of my video, if something were to happen, let's say something were to happen that inhibited me from doing this anymore, I know that my reality is just clearing the way for me to do something bigger and better. So it's, it's not as though I have like, I have other businesses and other things that I do, so I could very easily shift to one of those. And it's not so much as having a firm backup, but just knowing that a path to success is not a straight line, right? It's not just A to B. There's all sorts of twists and turns and, you know, cliffs and all sorts of it, it, things that could happen. But as long as I approach whatever it is that's happening from a, po a place of positivity, then that's exactly what it will be. Again, the whole thing is meaningless, except for the meaning that you assign to it. If you assign a negative meaning to an event or something that, you know, that transpires that, that is seemingly against your intention, then that's exactly what it will be. I get to choose the meaning though. So the meaning that I'm going to choose is obviously, you know, it's all positive. I'm still going towards success, right? Towards that optimal version of reality, towards that optimal version of myself because that's my choice and it's super fun, right? So the negative slide, again, I'm just gonna touch on this before I wrap up the video. I know this is a controversial one because people are like, why, why would I wanna focus on something negative? It's not that you focus on the negative happen happening. It's that you it's that you assume that that's a possibility. That variation of reality does in fact exist. Now your thoughts, frequency, and action, if they're finely tuned, will keep you from that version of reality. But reality is interesting. Sometimes good things, bad things happen to good people. Good things happen to bad people. Good things happen to bad people too. Um, but but uh, you know sometimes bad things happen to good people. It's it's just an event, right? It's just an event. So so it, when I run my my negative slide of defeat. Uh, something happens between me and my boyfriend. He gets taken away. Some Something happens and he's gone, right? Or something happens with any of my profession. Something happens with me. I get paralyzed in a car accident, whatever. Who the hell knows what could happen? But as long as I just softly um, run once in a while a slide of, you know what, something might happen to my boyfriend, but you know what, Renee? you're not gonna fall to pieces. Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. You'll learn something incredible. It'll put you on a whole new path, 
right? And as long as I don't become fearful of something, right, against one of my intentions to keep my boyfriend, to keep making money, to, you know, live in a nice house, whatever. As long as I don't become fearful, it's in the fear of that negative slide that the excess potential and balancing forces really come in and do damage, right? So, so it's, it's, it's about bringing down the value of everything. You can enjoy stuff, but don't don't overvalue it to the extent where you say to yourself, oh, if I lost this thing, life would be over, I'd be devastated, right? So, so this is me approaching my life now from this place of bring it, whatever it is, bring it, I can, I can handle it. But then also my approach is what wards off those, those negative things. My life is even more positive and beautiful and and flourishing than it ever has been before even though i have some kind of uh, you know pessimistic philosophies floating around in my head all this I ideas all these ideas really just bring down my my levels of value for whatever it is that i'm experiencing and it keeps all the stuff away that I really don't want in my life. But then if it comes, whatever, bring it, right? Bring it. So I hope this one isn't too dark, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Are you in this mode, loading everything up, eggs in one basket, all or nothing, seriousness, high emotion over something? How can you relax off of it? How can you, how can you bring yourself to run in your neg negative slide, no importance, balance, fun, a backup, right? Low emotional charge and maybe um, just lessen the importance, therefore making your path, your goal a little bit easier today. Let me know your thoughts and thank you for watching this video. Bye guys.